Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host, Delta TDS, and today we've got the Pokemon Trainer Guzma going up against the two Queen Lucy. Uh, back in round one, we saw Lucy. Oh, ignore this. Ignore this. Ignore this. I should have checked this before. Uh, take out Flannery. Back in round one. I believe in round one we saw her superior with a weakness policy, less coil, and then leaf blade as well. Uh, I also remember the uh, Britney Spears toxic uh, shuckle, glare on the Surviper, and I believe that's all I remember. Guzma, however, we haven't seen anything yet, mainly because he hasn't battled yet, but Guzma's got a Z Crystal. We don't know what Pokemon has it until we see it in the match. But Lucy has a Mega Gyarados. Uh, once these trainers are ready, we can uh, begin uh, game number one of match 103. Lucy leading off with that Steelix, Gliss or Guzma leading off with the Glissapod. Guzma switching out to the Lipard as Steelix goes for a rock slide, dealing just over half to that Lipard. Grass not gonna do just under half to Steelix as an Iron Head takes out that Lipard. Guzma sending out that Pinsir here. Not a very common Pokemon I've seen in the tournament. Going for close combat, taking Steelix down to 11%. Pinsir is going to survive that Rock Slide on 15% as another close combat does take out Steelix. And it gets that Moxie boost. Lucy sending out that Superior. Very terrifying Pokemon we saw in Game 1. Superior going for Leaf Storm but missing. Pinsir goes for close combat at him does just under three quarters of health. Uh, Lucy switching out to the Shuckle and taking that close combat for a little over 40%. Another close combat with a critical hit takes out that Shuckle and Pinsir gets another Moxie boost but loses it to that Intimidate. Pinsir is currently super fragile right now, and an Earthquake does take out that Pinsir. Lucy not going to Mega Evolve, obviously, because doesn't want that Dark-type to be weak to close combat. Guzma switching into that Glissapod, keeping Lucy from wanting to Mega Evolve that Gyarados. As I think a first impression may take it out here, if it does Mega Evolve. Going for the first impression, dealing just under half to Gyarados as it sets up a Dragon Dance. Going to go ahead and Mega Evolve Gyarados, Aqua Jet brings Gyarados down to 4% as Waterfall does just under a quarter to Elisapod. And another Aqua Jet does take out that Gyarados, and Glissapod drops under half and Emergency exits into that Honchkrow. It's currently 4v3 right now, Guzma still has his Z-Crystal to use. Lucy sending out that Surviper. Not too fast of a Pokemon, but Honchkrow going for Z-Curse, getting an attack boost. On top of the attack and defense boost, as the Viper goes for that glare, I mean that speed's not really gonna matter with Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch does take out the Viper, and a Superior is brought out here. The Storm gonna do just a third, and but Honchkrow gets paralyzed. Another Sucker Punch does take out Superior. It's all down to my logic here. Innovate there. The Sucker Punch from the Honchkrow takes Milotic down to 15%. Ice Beam finishes off Honchkrow. 
but first impression from the Glissopod does take out that Milotic, and Guzma takes game number one. Uh, we've seen quite a lot from both sides. We didn't see anything from the Shuckle. Uh, we saw Glare from Surviper, Ice Beam from Milotic. Uh, we didn't see anything from Toxpex or Toxicroak. And we saw that Honchicrow doesn't have Moxie. So still quite a few things to learn from both teams. But uh, once these trainers are ready, we can begin at game two and see if Guzma continues the bug type trend. Even though it's only like two Pokemon on his team are bug type. You see, leading off with that Superior as Guzma leads off with Lifeheart. Superior going for a glare as Lifeheart goes for Dark Pulse, dealing just over a third. Beast Storm takes Lifeheart down to that Sash, and Superior gets that double attack, or special attack. Going for the Synthesis, healing up more than what Dark Pulse can deal, as it gets Lifeheart paralyzed and allows it to go for that Leaf Storm without being damaged. Superior, I think it's one of the fastest things outside of priority on the field right now, or in this battle right now. And it's got plus four on special attack, so this thing is very terrifying. Pinsir is faster, I guess I didn't realize that, and it takes out that superior and gets the Moxie boost. Another X Scissor deals just under half to Shuckle as Shuckle goes for that Toxic. Shuckle protecting itself from that X Scissor, stalling for that Toxic damage. Shuckle going to sleep to heal up. Shuckle's just trying its best to stall out this Pinsir. Setting up the infestation. Shuckle just being annoying as possible. As Pinsir falls to the poison. And Guzma sends out that Toxapex. I just realized I was muted. I apologize for that. Uh, so Viper going for Lair. Uh, paralyzing that Toxtapex. And it's switching out to the Steelix as Toxtapex is unfortunately paralyzed. Earthquake does 69% to Toxtapex as Liquidation misses. Guzma not having the best of luck right now. Steelix going for a second Earthquake does take out that wall of a Pokemon. And Toxicroak is out here. Oh my god, this... <laughs> Aqua Jet with a crit. Dealing almost half to that Steelix. Rock Slide doing just about a quarter to Glissapod? I guess I didn't really think about how bulky Glissapod is. Going for another Aqua Jet. This time not a crit, but Rock Slide puts Glissapod in that emergency exit and switches out to Honchkrow. You see, switching out to that Milotic as Honchkrow goes for Z-Curse. Getting that double attack plus the defense boost. Gets frozen from the ice beam. And another ice beam, it takes out Honchkrow. Glissapod being sent out here. First impression, it finishes off that Milotic. The life orb's gonna take it out before it can do anything. Aqua Jets. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, Lucy. 
through the craziest luck possible, takes game number two. I mean, what, we saw it. Uh, para paralysis into liquidation miss into cross chop missing. We saw a bit more from Surviper there. We saw everything from Shuckle. Uh, we didn't see anything new from Gyarados or Pilotic. We are back here for game number three, and we're gonna see if Guzma or Lucy move on to round three. Guzma leading off with that Toxic Pro, Lucy with the Milotic. Milotic, we've only seen an Ice Beam from it, and I don't believe we've seen a Flame Orb on it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what we saw from Toxic Pro. To oh yeah, Cross Drop. Toxic Toxic go for that Cross Drop, getting the Poison Touch on Milotic. Surf's gonna deal about 66% to Toxic Pro. Cross chop missing, unfortunately. Milotic goes for that recover. Nearly recovered all of its HP there. Switching out to the Toxpex, Surf's gonna do under 20% to it. As Toxpex goes for liquidation, doing just under half. Switching out to the Toxic Rope getting paralyzed. Thanks to that glare. Lucy switching out to that Gyarados to cut that attack. Sucker Punch failing as Gyarados goes for Dragonance. Frost Chop gonna do 20%. Gyarados setting up another Dragon Dance. Going for the Poison Jab, dealing just a third. Earthquake does take out that Toxic Probe. Guzma is sending out that Galissapod here. First impression, almost takes out the Gyarados. Crunch doesn't put Galissapod in that range just yet. Just barely holding on before it has to switch out. Switching out to the Superior, Aqua Jet's going to do just under 20%, and Emergency Exit does activate. Switching into that Pinsir, X Scissor takes out Superior, and Pinsir gets that Moxie boost. You see, it's sending out that Shuckle now. Guzma switching out to Toxapex, uh, not going to be hurt from that Toxic as it's fully healed up thanks to its Black Sludge. Switching out to that Surviper, Toxpack's going to go for Liquidation and do just under half to Surviper. As it goes for Glare and lands it on that Light Bar. Grass Nut does finish off Surviper. Lucy's sending out that poison Milotic. Surf's gonna take Lightport down to the Sash, but get paralyzed, unfortunately. And Ice Beam does finish off Lightport. It is currently 4v4 right now. Guzma is sending in that Hodge Pro. Going for the Ice Beam as Hotchcrow goes for that Z-Curse. And Milotic is brought down to just a little more than 60%, now 100%. Drill Peck with a crit is going to do just enough with the poison damage to take out Milotic. Drill Peck with another crit takes Shuckle down to 10%. And Shuckle goes for Protect as Hodge Crow falls to that infestation. Back to 3v3. Close combat finishes off Shuckle. And Pinsir enjoys that Moxie boost once again. 
We see sitting in that Steelix here. Close combat does just over 60%. Rock Slide with the crit does take out that Fencer. And Guzma sends in that Felicipod here. Switching out to the Gyarados, intimidating the Glissopod. Aqua Jet finishes off that Gyarados, and it's just down to Steelix here. And Aqua Jet, with a crit, takes out Steelix. And Guzma, continuing the tradition of bug type trainers, moves on to round three. Where he will be going up against the winner of tomorrow's match. Uh, Skyla or Getsus. So, uh, I'm sure there's one trainer Guzma would want to face off more than the other. But, uh, thank you so much for watching, and until then, take care.